Welcome back to the iGems TV Podcast. I'm John Fitzgerald, and happy to be your guide to engaging movies and series. Let's get to it. We're kicking things off this week with Fire Island. A group of queer best friends gather in the Fire Island Pines for their annual week of love and laughter. But when a sudden change of events jeopardizes their summer in gay paradise, their bonds as a chosen family are pushed to the limit. Here's the trailer. This week is sacred. We're going to Fire Island. And this is why straight people hate us. And also, heteronormativity, Judeo-Christian pathology, anal. For whatever reason, call it magic, time sort of works differently here. Finally, my girls have arrived! (laughs) And that is our makeshift little family. We all met 10 years ago working at the same cursed brunch spot. Bottomless mimosa, bitches! <laughs> I can't believe you talked me into this again. I come here, I just feel terminally alone. Oh, are you all right? It's fine. It happens all the time. Do you want some whiskey? It would help with your knees. You can trust me, I'm a doctor. No! Do they have a house on the beach? Bro, we can't go over there. We are literal trash. Guys, excuse me? I think you may have the wrong house. Have you seen the way they're drinking? They're clearly using us for free liquor. Well, promise me you'll try to have a good time. Do not let these people think that they are better than us, because at the end of the day... Never mind. Gay guys like that are ruining this island. Way harsh, Ty. I have never met somebody who has made it so clear that they think they're so superior than everybody else. I don't think I'm better than you. You think that if you're vulnerable for just one second that it's all gonna come crashing down? We're gonna like hug and wrap this up. How does this end? Why don't we just get a little up and dance? You could see Fire Island on Hulu. Next up, Hollywood Stargirl. A sequel to the 2020 film about free spirit Stargirl Carraway, a silver-voiced teenager whose simple acts of kindness work magic in the lives of others, and follows Stargirl's journey out of Mika, Arizona into a bigger world of music, dreams, and possibilities. When her mother Anna is hired as the costume designer on a movie, they relocate to Los Angeles, where Stargirl quickly becomes involved with an eclectic assortment of characters. Here's the trailer. Hello, LA! First up, we've got Stargirl. Hi, I'm new to California. I usually sing with a ukulele, but here's to trying new things. I was lying in my room and the news came on TV. I guess I didn't think we'd be moving again so quickly. I thought you liked going on adventures. A lot of people... Going on adventures is one thing, but having your whole life be an adventure is another. But life is an adventure. Love and mercy. I love you singing. Thank you. I'm Evan. I'm Stargirl. Cool name. What's going on out here, Evan? She's our new neighbor. Hi. (laughs) My brother and I are making this movie, and it's got music in it. But we need a girl for it and you could be the perfect person. So you want to be in our movie? (laughs) All right, let's do it. Oh my God, that's Roxanne Martel. Who? She put out one album and then nothing. She's here every night. Write your own stuff. No, I just really like other people's stuff. You're gonna have to figure out your own thing. All I wanted was to dream crazy things and find people crazy enough to dream them with me. You gave me something I thought only existed in pictures. And I got more than that. Something I never expected. Even if nobody else sings along. And finally, Interceptor. One army captain is forced to use her years of tactical training and military expertise when a coordinated attack threatens the remote missile interceptor station of which she is in command. Here's the trailer. Navy runs the boat. Army handles the missiles. Captain Collins reporting, sir. 
Everyone wants to be anywhere but here. We're the only interceptor platform protecting from a nuclear missile attack. We have a situation. Unauthorized missile removal. What the hell's going on up there? We are under attack! You up for this? Don't worry about me, sir. Interceptor, what is your status? Seven terrorists seized our vessel, and they tried to take the command center. I have contained or killed everyone else on this vessel. And we control 16 nuclear missiles. I need to disable your command center, so I will be getting into that room. You want this room? Come and get it. We don't have time to evacuate cities. Hold that room. Did you just stab that dude in the eye with your gun? I'm the one in charge. You want to get out of here alive. Not going so well for you, is it? You plan for every possible outcome. But you couldn't plan for me. You can see Interceptor on Netflix. All right, on the series side, we kick things off with physical. Season 2 finds our hero, Sheila Rubin, having successfully launched her fitness video only to encounter some new and bigger obstacles on her path. She's torn between the loyalty to her husband and the values he represents and the dangerous attraction to someone else. And since she's no longer the only game in town, she finds herself having to outrun some fierce new competitors on the road to building a full-fledged fitness empire. Here's the trailer. Allow me to present the titular body behind Body by Sheila. That is a dynamite looking outfit. What's that color? Yellow. Eyes on the prize. I would love to expand into my own lifestyle brand. Stick to the plan. I want you to go out there and promote your film. It's a videotape. Whatever it is. He doesn't care. I'm the original her. You stole from me. No, this is my routine. Tell them. What do we say about that anger of yours? That it's bad vibes. Super bad vibes! I am committed to growing my business. You have a following, but I don't have this. Are you marching? Are you breathing? I control my own name. I control my own business. And nobody tells me what to do or say. Greta, would you want to go into business with me? I just have one condition. No more secrets? What secrets? She took everything. Then let's take it back. Change is coming. Growth. But so is loss. Pain. Regret. This isn't gonna work, Sheila. It's none of your business. It's actually half my business. What kind of person thinks they can behave in this way? Are you here to work for me or to try to become me? Sheila's rocket ship is about to take off. I'm tired of playing defense. So what's your goal? Reciprocity? Or retribution? Annihilation. You can see physical on Apple Plus. Next up, Black Gold. This gripping three-part documentary series exposes a global conspiracy that plunged the world into crisis and the cover-up of the century. How the boss atop a trillion-dollar industry discovers the shocking truth 40 years ago created a black ops campaign to hide the evidence and stop at nothing to keep the money flowing as the world burned. Here's the trailer. Global warming has arrived. We could have addressed this so much better, but we didn't. And that's not an accident. Getting a job at Exxon was a real peach as a chemical engineer. They wanted to become an energy company, not just an old company. Jim Black was a senior research scientist. He warned the top people at the company that CO2 was the most likely cause of climate modification. He's sounding an alarm. Exxon realized we have to put a container on this. The plug was pulled very abruptly. The research was just stopped. 
Lee Raymond was always this dark presence. He was the Axeman. We're not going to follow what is politically correct. But we didn't know the half of it. They had something called Black Ops, which was full-time work to augment climate deceptions. I don't know if anybody knew the sophistication and the scale of the disinformation effort. We didn't feel like the Kyoto Treaty was uh, well-balanced. They were right at the heart of emerging policy, taking a knife to it. The lengths that they went to to deceive people. It's hard for a scientist to compete against that. What they did is unforgivable. It's remarkable how much they knew how early. That's how a good disinformation campaign works. You don't know what's happening. When you're fighting such a massive force, they'll try to escape accountability. We can't let them. You can see Black Gold on Paramount+. Plus. And finally, Night Sky. Irene and Franklin York have kept secret a chamber that leads to a deserted planet, but the arrival of an enigmatic young man upends their quiet existence. Here's the trailer. I have something to tell you. And you're very lucky, because I've never told anyone this in my whole life. You ready to make history? You say that every time. Again, it's a heck of a view. Oh, it's more than that. Maybe it's time we finally tell somebody else. Hey, Grandpa. I think you two should consider moving out of the house. That's what you're worried about? One of your neighbors saw you pushing Nana around in the middle of the night. But I think they're hiding something in that shed. There's a reason. We were the ones who found this. This is our riddle to solve. some kind of alien he could be dangerous i think i know how to find him take care of this i need to see where all this leads franklin and i want you there with me you're always looking for an answer to life's great mystery i found mine <laughs> here in this house with you everything. It's just a way to protect the secret. It's more of those, by the way. A lot more. You can see Night Sky on Amazon. And we do have a black diamond this week with great freedom. In post-war Germany, liberation by the Allies does not mean freedom for all. Hans experiences repeated imprisonment under paragraph 175 of the Penal Code which criminalizes homosexuality and systematically destroys his desire for freedom. Over the decades, he develops an unlikely bond with his cellmate, Victor, a convicted murderer. What starts as a revulsion grows into affection. This film was shot in German language and is available with English subtitles. You can see Great Freedom on Apple TV, Amazon, or Mubi. And we do have a new collection for you this week with Top Gun Maverick swooping into theaters last weekend. Summer movie season is officially upon us. This collection celebrates some of the most enduring summer blockbusters, from the film that kicked off the blockbuster phenomenon, Jaws, to Raiders of the Lost Ark, to more recent hits like The Avengers. Heat up some popcorn and enjoy. And that's a wrap for the iGems TV Guide this week. Hope you have a great weekend and enjoy these iGem selections. Until next time, the search is open.